we need to talk about Chris Pratt. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Shit Shots. <laughs> I just butchered the intro, <laughs> but that's okay. How do we do it again? Welcome back to Chit Chats, everybody. My name is Antonio. My name's Brennan. And I'm Donovan, and welcome to Chit Chats. That's right. Okay, yeah. And here's Chris Pratt. And here's Chris Pratt, and our special guest, Chris Pratt. Huh. So, uh, I just want to start this episode off by saying that this was not a planned wow. episode of Chit Chats. Uh, usually, I like to plan these out a couple weeks in advance, <laughs> uh, but we had to do this one. It was a completely impromptu one that we just decided to do. Uh, basically... Uh, if you guys don't mind, if I just get into the topic really quick, how are you? Do you want me to ask like how you are? You know what's going on? Who cares? Anyway, I'm, we've had, so, no, we've had time for that. Sorry. 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 Just, just, just okay. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, okay. Yeah, he asked. So <laughs> no, he didn't. He asked. He asked if he wanted us to. If you if we wanted him to ask, yeah, 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 exactly. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So shut up. Sorry. We're talking about. This. I wanted him to ask. Anyway, um, so. There was a Nintendo Direct uh, for us the day that we're recording it. It was actually today, uh, but the day this goes up, it will have been in the past. But basically, there was a Nintendo Direct, and they revealed a bunch of stuff, and I want to talk about it. So I got the only two people that I know that would be interested in talking about it in this form. Uh, That's not true. But still, we got the Nintendo squad here, me, Brennan, and Donovan, and we all got our Nintendo shirts. So that's how you know we need business. So, um, yeah, like I said, this was very impromptu. So we're going to talk about the direct, but I don't have like, I don't have like a, a reference for, um, each thing. So it's just going to be kind of off of memory. So, um, I think we should all first, like, just come to a mutual agreement that we want to save the big stuff for later. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's just just go in order of, of when they, should we just go in order of when they, um, were announcing things or, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. We yeah, we we can we can try to go in order. Okay. So I too. we'll probably bounce around though. Okay. First thing that they revealed: Monster Hunter Rise DLC. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot about the monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I haven't played Monster Hunter in a long time, so I kind of forgot that it also got revealed. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so um. Are you guys Monster Hunter fans? Because I don't really know much about Monster Hunter. I was. I haven't played it in a long time. I see. Okay. Yeah. I, I've, I, I've, I've always been interested in playing it, but I've just never gotten around to it. Same. Um, I own on Monster Hunter World on PS4, but I barely really? played it because that game is like super convoluted and you have to like, you have to learn it basically. I see. And I just didn't want to put in the time. Mm-hmm. But I'd be uh, interested yeah. in playing it someday. Yeah, for sure. And Monster Hunter Rise looks pretty good. If I was going to get any Monster Hunter game right now, I mean, I think Monster Hunter Rise is the newest one, so it makes sense that I would get it. But yeah, I think that would be the one yeah. that I would get. Um, Monster Hunter is like super in right now, so I'm glad that they're doing a lot with it because mm-hmm. they had Rise come out, and then there was like a RPG game, and then they had World like a couple years ago. So Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm just pulling I'm pulling up the direct right now so I can kind of like scroll through it and we can uh, like oh, talk about good. each thing in order. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was the first thing they revealed, which I I, I thought they were gonna uh, reveal. I thought they were gonna reveal a Monster Hunter character as the Smash Fighter. That's literally what I thought they were gonna start off with. Which I'm kind of glad that that's right. not what it was, honestly. But, uh, but I kind of thought they would start with it with just a character in general, but they it sounds like. Uh, they're gonna do it in a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Hey, we're getting Which, ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so the next thing that they talked about was uh, Mario Party Superstars, which we already knew was coming out. Um, but oh, that's the that's like is that like the remake or like the old map remake? Uh, my understanding is that it's it's like a new game with old boards and old. Oh, memories. okay. Like I don't. I, I remember them talking about it. I remember them talking about it in that in the last direct they had back during E3, but I couldn't remember what it was called. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um. Well, it's interesting to me because like, uh, I was gonna say they usually only release one Mario Party per console, but that's not true. 
No. <laughs> uh, Dude, the GameCube had four. Yeah, the GameCube had four. The Wii only had two, I think. And the yeah. Wii U had one, but that's mainly because the Wii U one was bad. The Wii U sucks. Um, Mario Party 10 is awful. Well, I'm actually, I'm really glad that they're going back to, like, the roots of Mario Party, because I feel like, I feel like that's, like, the way that Mario Party works the best, personally, but. Yeah, me too. And honestly, that's what everybody wants them to do, so it's good that they're listening to fan feedback. Mm-hmm. My problem with the game is, like, more so just the boards, because... Mm-hmm. From my understanding, it's supposed to be kind of like a compilation of the first three games, but in HD mm-hmm. and some with some added features, of course, like online play and stuff. Well, um, but it seems like it the, like if it was going to be a compilation of the first three games, why wouldn't they just put like all the stages from those first three games? But they're only doing five stages. Yeah, they're like that's the thing picked. that bothers me is like that, that five stages is not a lot. Um, no, when they definitely could put more. Brendan, I don't know how much you care about Mario Party, but I, I haven't really cared for Mario Party since the GameCube. Yeah, <laughs> Mario Party game. I think so. this one. I think this one would this be one, worth caring this about. One, this, this one. This one. Pro- this one will probably. Go. I played Mario Party DS for a while. Oh yeah, that, that one's like Mario Party DS. Hey, I love Mario Party. I, DS. Yeah, I, I didn't mind Mario that. Party it was it was my first game. It came with the Switch. I mean, with, with the Switch with my 3DS. Uh, yeah. but it was like the first 3DS game I played. Uh, wait. Mm-hmm. Was it Mario did Party DS or was it? Board? Did you have a 3DS Mario Party? 3DS Mario Party. Oh, so was you played. Tour? You played either Island Tour or Super or Star Rush, isn't that what it's called? I don't know. Star Rush came out like 2016, though I want to say. Uh, so it was probably it was probably Island Tour then. So you played Island Tour and you liked it. Island Tour sucks though. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but to be fair, so I played Island Tour and I liked it. Yeah, but I never played any other Mario Party. I never played any other Mario Party at that. I don't know, but this is coming from the same guy who also liked Sticker Star at first. So maybe I'm. (laughs) Hey, I also (laughs) like Sticker Star at first, so don't feel bad. Okay, Mm. I will defend that game only a little bit because I I honestly think it's like it's still not a good Mario Party game or Mario Kart. I'm (laughs) anyway. Um, Mm. next thing they were. So are you guys going to be picking up? Quick question. Are oh, you yeah, guys no. going to be picking up Mario Party? I probably will not for a while. Yeah, that's the one I have. Mario Party right. on board. Um, Brandon, would you are you gonna be picking it up? I'm not thinking about it because it is the old it is the original maps, so I'm tempted. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be and, I think it'll and be like good. and like you and like you said, it's kind of returning to its roots. You know? I will say we this should all get it and then play the online, you know. Yeah, no, I I'll, I'll say this though. I wish that they just like like you said, Donovan, like they just released, like remade every map from the first three games and then just put that in a compilation. I don't know if that would be like too much, but like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think that would have been. I think they, good. I don't know, because they've definitely had only five maps in previous Mario Parties. Like, I remember Mario Party 9, I think, only had five maps. And I think Mario Party 8 also did. Mm, they're probably, you know so what they're they, going to probably like, do? It's fine, but like, I just feel like. If they're gonna have a compilation, they should just go all the way. They're probably but, gonna release them as DLC. I'm calling it right now. That's what they're gonna do. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll be right back, guys. Keep talking. Okay. 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 Bye, <laughs> but Brennan just leaves. Okay. Uh, next poop games. There was some poop yeah. A lot of poop the, games. The, the next game that they revealed was the the RPG with the cards, which I don't know anything about. It's um, made by Square Enix. Yeah, it's made by Square Enix. Uh, but that's all I really know about it. It's called Voice Wait. of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars. Now, <laughs> so isn't Slay the Spire? I know you've played it. Isn't it also yeah. a like an RPG card game? Kinda? Yeah, but I think it's the way that Slay the Spire is like presented is a lot different. Like it's it's not. I don't know. I think it kind of plays into the whole like card aspect a little bit better, like because it's like it's like an RPG, but it's like you're playing like a like a card game with friends almost. I don't know. It. I right. think it, it. It looks very different from this, but um, but whatever. Uh, Ellis will probably like it. Maybe it looks like something Ellis would like. I don't know why. I, but, I don't know. I think there's yeah. something else that was revealed in this direct that Ellis would like a lot more. Yeah, that's we'll, true. We'll, that's we'll, true. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Anyway. Um, the next game, okay, I'm not even going to mention the next game that they revealed because it's, I don't even know what it is. 
<laughs> it's called game. Di- it was a poop game. Yeah, it was a poop game. It's called Disco uh, uh, Elysium: The Final Cut. Elysium. Elysium. I yeah, I don't. I don't know. I remember uh, it in the direct, but I don't have Brennan, anything. Feel to free to let us know if you if you like any of the game, like any of the games that we're like gonna skip over, because we'll let you talk about it. Uh, but speaking of which, not that we would skip over this, but the next game that they revealed, or the next thing that they revealed, was DLC for Age of Calamity, which I know Brennan was excited for. Yeah, I'm excited. What did they um, actually reveal as part of that DLC? Because I didn't really understand what, what yeah, was actually Yeah, I didn't even really understand, you know, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, Brandon, would you like uh, to enlighten it, it was It was new stages, a couple new story maps, um, a couple new upgrades. They added this huge upgrading system in the last DLC. Um, and then they're adding every character gets a new move added on to them. Hmm. So, like, they get, like, a new feature added on. And every the character? Only new ca- yeah, that's what it says. It said every character gets a new feature. That's crazy. Um, mm-hmm. and then and then it also said adding um Pyra and Robbie from uh from uh, oh, Age of Calamity as playable characters. But it's like a two in one fighter. It looks interesting. Mm, okay. So, I'm excited. I mean I, I bought the expansion as, pass, so I'll get them uh, anyways. Yeah, they should just let you play as like a guardian. That'd be cool. <laughs> you can. You can? <laughs> yeah, that was that was the DLC character for the first DLC pack. Oh, oh no, okay, never mind. <laughs> Donovan. Can you play as Calamity Ganon? Yeah, if you win 100% of the game, you get Calamity really? Ganon. Oh, oh, spoilers. Sorry. Uh, all of Donovan's yeah. wildest dreams are, are coming true right now. Wow, okay. Maybe, uh, now I Donovan, can Donovan, Donovan, you can play as that little egg robot if you get all of his pieces. No that little way. white egg robot. You can play as Calamity Ganon. You can play as a great fairy, one of the great fairies. Uh-huh. And you can play oh. as one of the monks, one of the Sheikah monks. You can play as the monk, the one that you fight in Breath of the Wild in the DLC. Yeah. That's so cool. I, it, it's oh, wait, sad how much I don't understand. Sorry. What? Oh, well, yeah. He... <laughs> oh, what? No worries. Well, that's all I have to say about that. So, what's next? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Next, they revealed the the freaking Final Fantasy racing game. Chocobo! <laughs> Chocobo! Yeah, ready, set, Chocobo! Uh, it's a Mario Kart clone. It's literally just a Mario Kart clone. <laughs> yeah, the- yeah, but so is Crash Team Racing and Sonic Racing. Yeah, but whatever. like, I feel like they have more of a reason to exist than this. <laughs> But maybe it'll please some Final Fantasy fans. I don't know. I'm sure it will, but we'll see. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm a Final Fantasy fan, and I'm just kind of like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, They're just using a character that people know they love and making a game about him. <laughs> well, good gotcha. for them. I hope they make a lot of money. <laughs> okay. The next thing that they revealed was that they were going to reveal the Smash Brothers fighter on <laughs> October 5th. Um, so that's a, that's a whole other discussion. I think everybody was expecting them to announce the final fighter oh, here, I, but they yeah. just didn't. I know I was. So I yeah. was, yeah. I was expecting them to either announce it here or wait until the game awards and make it like a big thing where they announce the final fighter at the I game. I mean, awards. honestly, in in retrospect, uh, it ma- it makes sense that they're gonna do it this way. Like they're gonna have like a final presentation of the f- like reveal the fighter and then show off the fighter. So, sure. I'm sense. excited. For it, though. I I hope. I mean, I'm I'm excited for it, but I'm also worried because like it mm-hmm. like I, there, I have no idea who it could possibly be. The, yeah, I think the we one talked about this before, Antonio, but like no matter who they announce, like people are gonna be people disappointed. are gonna be disappointed, mm-hmm. but like. That's the thing is I feel like they know that so they gotta they gotta do something like big right, especially if they'll they're not... either do something big or something small like it's either gonna be Master Chief or a Pokemon. There's no in between. Yeah, I was thinking it could possibly be Sora. I know that that's that like Sora? I I've dis like I've um you know talked about how I don't think that that's possible. I think I've said that, but. Uh, yeah. I I don't know. I think that yeah, it could possibly have to the grave. It's not going to be Sora. Okay, but Donovan, I don't want to. I don't want to say it outright. But uh, did we ever think that w- you know who was going to play? You know who? Yeah, exactly. 
So good point. Yeah. So uh, yeah, anything's he's possible. Been in Disney movies, so maybe he called him a he got him a deal. Something. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay. Next thing that they revealed uh, was. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. This was the first reveal of the direct that I was like, hell yeah. yeah. This is so, the new Kirby game that Donovan swore was going to be shown back during the E3 direct. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've is... been, Hal has been working on the Kirby game since Star Allies in 2018. Mm-hmm. It makes sense that it's taken them this long because it looks like a pretty expansive game. Hopefully. Yeah, it looks good. This might yeah. actually be something I look into. Well, and like, I feel like it's not being like, uh, like it's not being like um, emphasized enough that this is like the first real 3D Kirby game. Like that's kind of crazy if you really think mm-hmm. about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, Donovan, do you do you want us to okay. acknowledge the Waddle D? It's his <laughs> own. Look at this bubble. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay what's Thank next? <laughs> but like I said, well, the Kirby game. The Kirby game is awesome. Yeah, but did you did you even hear what I said? Or were you just focusing on the Waddle D? No, I heard what you said. You said something about video games. <laughs> Why do we record these so late? I feel like we're this is not the optimal time to record these. Uh, <laughs> all right, it's because we're college students. That's right. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, it's the first 3D curve game. That's crazy to me. I don't know if mm-hmm. anyone, no one else cares, but that's fine. I mean, that's fine with me. And it's also cool that it's like post-apocalyptic. I remember when it came up. Yeah. Uh, I, I yelled that it's Seattle because it has like a little space needle in the in yeah. the skyline um, or the whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool because they've alluded in past Kirby games that like Planet Popstar might be like apocalyptic Earth. I remember mm-hmm. in Kirby 3, they have like a level that's like a, a frozen city or something. Mm-hmm. So it's cool that they're like doing something with that, that idea. They better yeah. have some good Kirby Kirby lore. Yeah, <laughs> Kirby lore. no, hopefully. I'm not really up yeah. to date with the Kirby lore, but I, I, I do remember hearing that like the planet he's on is supposed to be Earth, so that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. What do you think, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. It's a new it's a new Kirby game that's 3D on so. Yeah, true. true. <laughs> it's a, maybe it's I'm, a day maybe, one I'm, maybe I'm more excited probably. than I should be. I don't know, but we'll see. Well, I'm super oh, excited. I just got nothing to say on it because I'm just like, dude, this is sick. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I'm like, I'm just pumped about it. Realistically, <laughs> we don't know much about it. Like, yeah, we. This is the first the trailer we've got on it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they got a show. I hope you can play multiplayer too. Like, I want to play as like Kirby and like Meta Knight or something. That would That'd be, be cool. interesting, but I don't know. May- I feel like they're gonna keep it sim- more simplistic than that because it's the first 3D one. But yeah. We'll see. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll at see. least at least two players, like a Waddle D or something. I don't know. Okay, next thing they reveal was the roost is being finally being added to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now let me ask you this. Is this going to make you play the game? No, it's not. I'm gonna no. I'm answering that question right now. <laughs> well, it depends on what they show, right? Because they I mean, have another direct. Oh, that's right. Up. Yeah, they're having an Animal Crossing direct. That's right. More, most likely, I'll go back into the game uh, and just play it for like five minutes and then be like, that was cool, and then not, not touch it again. That's probably true. Wait, Brendan, do you have Animal Crossing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, have it, I have it on Josh's account. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> have you played it? Not much. I did for a long. I did for a long time on my Switch Lite. Uh huh. Um, but then something happened to it, and now I have it again on the Switch, but I haven't started playing on it. I think I loaded it up once just to see what Josh's world looks like, but I haven't really played it since. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the thing they revealed after that was uh, DLC for Mario Golf Super Rush, whatever it's called. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't remember what they showed. They showed off Kirby. Ninji. The freaking ninja. Oh yeah, that's right, Ninji. Yeah, that's which funny. I, I actually think it's kind of fun. I think it's this is like that's like the first time they've had like a 3D render of that enemy. Possibly. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. I think I think you're right. Uh yeah, because I know he was in Mario 2 <laughs> yeah. and the Paper Mario games, but yeah. 
Uh, and then they talked about Disney it, it Master just, World. It's hilarious that you can just play as Ninji. I don't know yeah, why. I know. Yeah. They're, they're that, really bringing out like, the obscure Mario. I'm not going to buy the game, but it makes me kind of want to buy it. Yeah, I just, w- I just wish it wasn't... I don't... Is it a full sixty dollar game? I don't think it is. Right? Yeah, it's a full sixty dollar. If that's, it was like that's ransom, forty dollars, then maybe that's terrible, dude. What is this mm-hmm. economy we live in? Okay, the next thing they revealed was uh, what is it called? It's the Dying Light game, but it's not called Dying Light. Stay Human. That's what it's called. Uh, I don't know much about that, but I remember D- I was talking to Dean about it. Apparently, it's a pretty, mm-hmm. it's a pretty big game. I've heard of it, but I've never played it. Yeah, that was the one that was like it looked like a PS4 game, right? Or like an Xbox One. Uh, I don't know. I know there was a game that looked like a P a, a PlayStation. Okay, 2 wait, game. wait. Was it the one that was like you don't actually own it on the Switch? You play it through like a cloud or yes, something. Yes, it was that one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's cool that they do like bigger games that can't run on the Switch as well on the mm-hmm. cloud. I think that's cool. I just really don't have any interest in any of the games that they have done for that. Well, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in order to play games like that, you have to have, like, or if you want to play them well, you have to have a strong internet connection, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, which, right. Yeah. So you can't play them wherever you go. So, like, the Switch part of it is basically, like, meh. Yeah. I, okay, I yeah. think, I, I mean, I think it's cool that they have that option on the Switch to, like, play games like that. But at the same time, it really does show like how the the hardware of the Switch is like so many years behind uh, yeah. PlayStation and Xbox, which is kind of like the the bad thing about it. That's true. But and it kind of the thing about it is like I don't want to linger on this too much, but the thing about that sucks is that the cl- whole cloud aspect of it means that it takes the portable aspect of the Switch kind of out of it so it kind of like de- I, I, it kind of devalues the whole idea of the switch you know what i mean but that's okay anyway next thing they revealed was P- project triangle strategy which we already knew about uh they just talked about the game more is that well that's what it's called right yeah, yeah triangle strategy okay such a dumb name yeah uh, next thing they talked about was Metroid Dread, but that was a game that we already knew was coming, and they've already announced yeah. way too much about it. They they have shown way too much about that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, they showed that Kraid was in it, which is like, honestly, why do they need to show that? Just save it mm-hmm. so it's like a surprise when you're playing the game. I'm yeah. just worried that like, at this point there won't be any surprises when you're playing the game, which is kind of concerning, but mm-hmm. whatever. We'll see. It looks like a great game. I'm excited to play. Yeah, I I don't I haven't played much of Metroid games, but uh, this one actually looks pretty good. I might get I might get this one. Yeah, Brandon, what do you think? You should uh, you should play Super Metroid on the uh, SNES online app. That's a really oh, good yeah. game. It holds up super well today. For sure, for sure. Brandon, do you have any do you have any common comments? Uh, it's, it must sound boring as fuck. It's the same thing with Kirby with me. Like I'm excited for it. That's all I can say. I see. No, that's okay. Like, I'm excited for it, and it looks good. But like I don't have, I know I'm. It's I'm not like same with Kirby. Like I'm not big on like like I play the games and they're fun and I'm excited for it. But I'm not big on like the history or like a big part of my no that history. No, that's fine. For I me, just... it's like for me, it's just like cool. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no, yeah, I get you. No, I just fair. don't. Want, I don't. I want you. I want you to be involved in the conversation. Yeah. But yeah, if you don't I'm have sorry, much to no. say, then then that's I, I get yeah. you. Good game, excited, but yeah, they're showing too much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. This I know you'll want to talk about. The next thing they talked about was the Nintendo Switch Online, the new mm. uh, things that they're adding to it, which many were speculating that they were going to add Nintendo 64 <laughs> games, and they did. But I don't think anyone expected them to add Sega Genesis games because I know I didn't. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. The Sega Genesis thing was cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they're uh, releasing uh, those controllers with my is pretty cool. I my think. boys, yeah. my boys are going to be on the Switch. Yeah, yeah, your boys. Yeah. I'm assuming you're giving them time in Majora's Mask. Yeah, Mast. yeah, that's what that's what you mean. Okay, yeah. Dude, this is finally my opportunity to play Ocarina of Time because I've never played. It. Yes, you have to play Ocarina of Time. I'm going to this time. He's gonna uh, play it on. He's gonna play it all these years later on a fucking Switch port. 
Yeah. <laughs> I hope that they that they do a good job. I, I I don't know if this is that much of concern, but I hope they do. It like, looks a good like job it looks like a straight up port because it's like same graphics and everything. You yeah, no. like, kind of like with the other shit. So I'm 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 thinking, I'm the first thing I'm going to do is test a lot of the glitches that were in the original that were removed or fixed in the 3ds version and see if it's just a straight up port or if it's another like move over. You know? Yeah, for sure. I think that's that's smart. Yeah. I guess? find it funny that like you can now play Mario 64 on 3D All Stars and on the Nintendo 64 online. Yeah. I mean, and, yeah. and like really? into the future, if they just keep adding mm-hmm. these like emulators yeah. into it, like eventually mm-hmm. 3D All Stars are gonna have no fucking purpose. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's the thing because like I don't know. I still want them to do GameCube, and I think they will eventually. But I hate having to wait for it. I wish they just release it all I'm, together you know? i'm not very confident that they're gonna do gamecube not really because i like i, I don't have a feeling I, they're not i know i agree with you i don't think they're gonna do GameCube. I, I okay here's the here's the thing and this might be like a weird like opinion to have but i think nintendo 64 is like the extent of like the cons the the like the right. uh, retro consoles that they're willing to go to not mm. necessarily because they don't like the GameCube, but because of like graphical capability. Once you get to GameCube yeah. again, I think it gets a little bit more complex, and I think that's one of the reasons why they aren't re-releasing. Ga- uh, no, they could, I feel like they could definitely like run all the GameCube games on the Switch. It's just I feel like Nintendo's just weird. Like they did the same thing on the Wii U, where like they had the Virtual Console, but they skipped the GameCube. They even had Wii. They skipped the, the GameCube and went straight to Wii. And it just, like, doesn't make sense. It's like they don't like the GameCube or something. Well, and the other reason... Oh, no way. <laughs> that is that is never <laughs> not going to be creepy. <laughs> me just standing in my door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cody, what do you think about uh, Nintendo Switch Online, dude? Sweet. Okay. Well, now that we got that sorted out. What? what? Um, Do you want to be in the chats? <laughs> I'm nervous. He, he's nervous. <laughs> All right. Well, we have approximately 17 minutes to wrap this up. So. Yeah. Cody works. Cody works. Sorry. Works. This is like a chit chats interlude, but oh, that's Cody okay. works. All right. All right. Bye. Bye, Cody. Okay. Bro. <laughs> no, no. Wow. Okay. That was Did really you, awkward. You okay. tour. <laughs> a tour. Also. I'll do an apartment tour eventually. All right, back to the chit chats. Okay, back to the we gotta we gotta we, we can't we can't linger too much on stuff. Nintendo Switch Online yeah. looks good. I'll just we'll say that. Oh, yeah. and I wanna say one thing. I think that because they're not releasing the GameCube games in a in a virtual console format, that is also a reason why they are not going to do it. Because I can't see them just being like, hey, here's like 10 GameCube games at once. I just personally don't see that. Anyway. I mean, yeah. I I mean, I guess you're right. The only way that I could see it is like if they did just do virtual console for the GameCube games, like where you pay for them individually. Mm Mm-hmm. That would make a little bit more sense because GameCube games are like full games, whereas like... I mean, I would say N64 games are, are full games too, but like, I don't know. I feel like the older games have less value, and then starting with a GameCube, it's like you could realistically charge like 30, 40 bucks for a GameCube that's, game. That's kind of how I feel, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what? The The stuff that they revealed after this is not that important, so we're just going to skip to the highlight. The only two important... Okay, hold on. Didn't they do Splatoon? Well, that was until the end. Oh, okay. They uh-huh. did the Mario movie and then Splatoon and then the last thing. Uh, the Mario the movie. movie. Oh, you'll, Mario. Oh, you'll see. Uh, so, okay. Mario movie is coming out next year. We knew we knew this. We knew that Illumination... Was- wait, real quick. For the homies, Bayonetta 3 also got confirmed, too. That, that's what I was talking about. Right? Oh, that's the last thing? <laughs> yeah, that was the that last the thing. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, well, never mind. Continue. Sorry, I ruined it. No, it's all, no, it's all good. So, yeah, Mario Movie is coming out. We already knew about this. What we did not know was the voice cast. And they revealed the voice cast. And it is a treat. 
This is what we've wanted to talk about this whole time. This is what I've been waiting for. This is about. literally I have not been able to think about anything else no, for the rest of the This is this has just then. been like, on my I, mind. All all day. Day. Well yeah, yeah, I saw this at work and so I was I was so confused. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> First thing <laughs> They had uh, Miyamoto come out, say the Mario movie was coming out next year. Immediately, bam, Chris Pratt as Mario. <laughs> it was so jarring. Like, I, don't think- I don't think that anything will ever be that bizarre. That is the most bizarre thing I will ever see in my life. I have not seen anything that bizarre in a long time. And I think that mm-hmm. that, like, I don't know. There's something about that that just, like... It, it it makes is me gonna talk like, in an Italian accent. Anything is possible. <laughs> that, that's the thing. Right? There's so many questions. Is he gonna talk normally? In that in in that case, it's gonna be weird as fuck. Like it's, with Chris it's gonna be Mario voice. walking up to Bowser, like, "Hey, yo, what up? I'm Chris Pratt." Yeah, and it's just Chris Pratt and Jack Black doing their normal voice. That is that's gonna be ah, ah, weird. Ah, ah, Second, ah. if he does an Italian accent, that's also gonna be weird. Because it's going to yeah. be a bad Italian accent, probably. I don't know. It's a I, me, a Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Like, the, no matter what. And first of all, let's also just talk about the fact that this movie is probably not going to be very good. Like, I mean. No. Well, okay. I oh, think God, no. the thing that's going to save this movie, honestly, is Jack Black as Bowser. I think yeah. Jack Black can a nail A. Hey, hey, you're like forgetting split. about Donkey Kong. Oh, here. yeah. And yeah. well, I was going to say that too. Yeah. Death Rogan well, is Donkey Kong. Yeah. Also Death going Rogan the is Donkey Kong. Yeah, so th- that's the that's the Holy Trinity right there. <laughs> Chris Pratt is Mario. Jack Black is well, Donkey no, Kong. No, 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 because you're Rogan. forgetting Keegan Michael Key is Toad, which is uh, how. Like, I, <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, is that's just, also. Is he just going to be? Is he in the entire movie? Is he just going to be? Wow. Yeah, that's I the thing. So, he, that's that's like how Toad's voice is. So, like, is he going to do that voice? No, I wait, Antonio, Antonio, it's going to be like Toad from the Mario Warfare video I showed you. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, be a you, badass Toad. You might be right. You might be right. <laughs> Donovan, for context, basically, yeah, Toad just talks in like a very like Not American true. cadence. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. Like, it's like, it's very like. <laughs> like, hello, my name is Toad. I've seen yes. more. No, yeah. Death. No, seriously. He was like, that's he how was he like, talks. He, like, he had like two Uzis next to him, and he's like, this way, princess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's so, great. that could be how it's going to be. And also, I don't know how many people also really caught this, but like, Charlie Day as Luigi. I don't know if you guys know who Charlie Day is or much. I don't know if he's, he a, is, he's a but... comedian, isn't he? He's a well, like I'm. I think of him more as an actor than a comedian. But he's like, he's a pretty well known actor. But like, if you see the roles that he's had in the past, it's not like Luigi. <laughs> yeah, um, this will be interesting. In Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, he's in Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He was in a movie called Horrible Bosses, uh, um, which is not an age appropriate movie. He was in the Lego Movie. As the oh, yeah. astronaut who screams oh, that he loves spaceships, that's how Luigi's going to sound. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so just imagine astronaut. that, or what? Perhaps. Well, actually, I think this next one you might not know as well, but he was in Monsters University. He was the monster who was purple, uh, who was like shaped like a U, but like oh yeah, 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 like upside yeah. down, like an upside down mm-hmm. U. I don't know. If, Monsters University is a not that memorable movie, but yeah. I don't remember him, but sure. Uh, yeah, so basically, that's going to be interesting. I actually think he's not the worst pick for Luigi, but Chris Pratt as Mario is a bizarre choice that I will never be yeah, able to like. I feel like any of them can work except for Chris Pratt as Mario. I feel like they should have just had Mario. All I'm imagining, you know, is fucking Donkey Kong laughing with a Seth Rogen laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing when we, we watched it earlier uh and and uh live yeah. like live reacted to it that was immediately what Quentin did he's just like yeah. Donkey Kong's going to be like no, really, Brennan, really, really, really. yeah Brendan for context me Quentin and Antonio watched it all together oh, earlier yeah I, yeah, I know while we were waiting for Mark. yeah while we were waiting for your ass to get online I sat here and listened to him edit the video yeah, uh, uh, that's true. That's true. We that lost, dude. We lost it. Yeah, we were like, oh, it was. Hey, 
That's a promo and, for those and for then, those videos. And then surprise cameo by the guy who actually does the fucking voices. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like the yeah, guy who does understand. Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Donkey Kong. Like the guy who actually does voices these characters mm-hmm. is, is gonna be a surprise cameo. Yeah, he's reduced <laughs> yeah. to cameo. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Which they should just have like the normal voice actors do it because like I feel like they don't get enough recognition well, for it would like, be it would be him for it would be him for three of the characters for mario I mean, Luigi and Donkey Kong. i mean unless donkey, donkey kong, kong unless donkey kong's actually going to talk in this i mean he 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 must right like he must but he's like, he's like well, back in the old days back when he voiced donkey kong he only voiced him because he would make like the noise like you know like he would like he would do that kind of stuff yeah so like if he's actually you know, talking, you know, Donkey Kong from like the the '90s TV show where it's like really <laughs> shitty CGI. Yes. Absolutely, <laughs> have that voice where he's just like a cool guy. He's like, "Hey there, Candy Kong." Well, isn't Cranky in the movie too? For some reason, yeah, Cranky's in the movie, <laughs> and Cranky's actually <laughs> the only Kamek other. Isn't it? Huh? Kamek is in it, and then like Foreman Spike. Spike from Wrecking Crew, apparently. Yeah, yeah, but um. Aside from uh, those four that we were talking about, um, the guy who's playing uh, Cranky Kong, which I his name escapes me, but he's like the only other actor that I think is like actually kind of like more mainstream. I actually could be wrong about that, but I I think he was in some pretty popular movies. But uh, but yeah, no, like they just straight up went for a celebrity voice cast, which. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I think like I don't think the decision was like it's not a horrible decision. I just think like the fact that like who they picked in specific is well, it's, kind of weird. It's all for marketing. Like I get it, but yeah. like I feel like the the voice actors for those characters don't get enough recognition because they play these iconic characters, and then for the movie, they're all getting like thrown aside for like the, these celebrities who probably haven't even played a Mario game. It's just unfortunate. Yeah. I don't I know. also I love it. Just yeah. to be just it's, to be clear. If we're looking at it from a more critical angle, it's very weird and kind of dumb. But if we're looking at it as just a fun angle, it's hilarious and I, I think it's gonna be awesome. I think the I'm so excited for the trailer to come out. The trailer's gonna be so crazy. Dude. It's gonna be so surreal. Dude, we gotta do a live reaction to it. Yeah, we we have to do a live reaction to yeah, the trailer. Let me know and I'll try to join you guys for it. Yeah, that that that's gonna happen. <laughs> Probably on my gaming channel. But yeah, because it's gaming related, sort of. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Um so that was okay. like that's like I think that was like the highlight. Um, yeah. Are we are wait, are we are we uh are we out of time, Brennan? Well, we got about five minutes or seven, so we should probably talk about the last okay. thing. We're, we're wrapping up. Yeah, Brennan, just, uh, yeah, Brennan has to leave at twelve thirty, but I have to work in the morning, and I forgot there's stuff I was supposed to do tonight before tomorrow, gotcha. and I just realized now that I I forgot to do it. So I kind of, I mean, you guys can keep talking and I can leave, but I I have to go. To no, no, no. We'll, we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap it up. <laughs> the last two things I don't actually have that much to say about the last two things. Uh, so the next thing they revealed after the Mario movie voice cast was Splatoon 3. Well, I say revealed, but really it was more of what we already knew. Um, yeah, well, because Splatoon, Splatoon 3 was like, what, that was like two directs ago, right? Yeah, well, yeah, they talked about that in the February direct. Yeah, because um, they didn't show anything during the E3. Direct. No, they didn't show anything during E3, but they showed off, Uh, you know, I don't actually know how much more they showed off this time around than from the first Not, I They just showed off the single player, basically, and then yeah. like the multiplayer looks basically the same, but they show a couple new powers that look pretty cool. There's one that looked like Spider Man. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. I remember that. And the crab one. I remember the crab one. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's, the it's single player looks player, pretty cool. It looks awesome. Yeah. Uh, and Donovan, mm-hmm. didn't you say that your most wanted feature for this game is three player <laughs> uh, multiplayer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, in Splatoon two, for the ranked mode, you can only like be in a in a team of two or four if you're playing with friends. Mm-hmm. So whenever me and Dean and Parker would try to play, it I always have to be two of us, and it was stupid. Uh-huh. But uh, that is kind of yeah. stupid. Like I don't know, what, like what reason would they have to not just have a three player mode? I don't know. But I don't know. It be just because they're Nintendo and they make stupid decisions. But the single player, I will say, it looks cool. 
And I think it's um, more like open level design. It looked like it because yeah. the for the for the other Splatoon games, like for the single player modes, the the level design is like super linear, and it's just like a bunch of like disconnected platforms. But it looks like there's actual like areas with like context. Like yeah. it doesn't look like a bunch of disconnected platforms, the, which I like. And that that's makes- good. That makes it look a lot more like interesting and uh, mm-hmm. like you know like you want to explore it. Um, yeah. So yeah, no. I'm the, excited. the only other thing, the only other thing I want to say about the single player. Sorry, I'm I love Splatoon. No, it's okay. Uh, no, I don't blame you. But the only other thing I want to say is it looks like the villain is gonna be DJ Octavio again. And as much as I love DJ Octavio, they should get a new villain because he's not super interesting anymore. Well, maybe they'll make it more interesting in this game. Hopefully, maybe. <laughs> Donovan, yeah, Donovan, like had something with mammals. It was like the rise of the mammals. Yeah. So that might be that might be kind of cool. Maybe. I'm excited. Brennan, are you gonna get Splatoon three? Do you think? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Splatoon's cool, but I'm not that big on it. <laughs> yeah, I got you. All right. <laughs> if, any, if anything, I'll just wait until Charlie Connery probably play it. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. It's probably true, but he hasn't even played Splatoon two yet. Okay, dude, you should you should give uh, you should give Splatoon a try. It's like in my top five. Probably. If you can find it for a cheaper um, price than full yeah. price, I think you should. But I can find it for cheap. I'll buy it. Okay, last thing. We're we're at the last thing, and then we can wrap up. Bayonetta three. I was not expecting yes. them to talk about this. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. I remember yes. when we when we watched the trailer, Donovan was like. Xenoblade? <laughs> I thought it was Xenoblade at first because the, the text looked the same. Oh, so I Donovan. Xenoblade 3. Donovan. Donovan. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, like, you know, maybe it would, it, like, it could have looked like some sort of... Antonio nor Quentin knew what it was either. So well, yeah, no. I was throwing out my, own, my best guess. In in his defense, maybe maybe uh, they would have went for, like, a, a futuristic Xenoblade angle. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. just trying to give Don a little bit more credit. Wow, yeah, way to way to throw me under the bus, Antonio. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but then I put I backed you up, dude. So it's, I made up for it. Um, but yeah, so I never really played. I never played the original two bayonets, but I know how much of a like, uh, you know, like good fan base they have. Like a, uh, mm-hmm. so like. I, I think that I think it's cool that they're releasing this finally. I think, and like they said in the in the direct, I think they they announced it in 2017, and so it's kind of crazy that it's like coming us. Like yeah, they announced that they were they announced that they were working on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, I know Ellis mm-hmm. is going to be excited. I remember watching Ellis play Bayonetta two, I think. Yeah, um, and he he liked that game. And is Bayonetta a Nintendo exclusive? I know it, it came out now. on PlayStation, but like it it is now, yeah. right? The first one is on PlayStation, but then Nintendo bought them out. Gotcha. Well, they didn't buy out the company; they just bought Bayonetta. That's so interesting that they would buy that franchise out of all any out of. It's like, such a know. it's a good move, though. It's a smart move. It is a smart move. No, it is a good Nintendo move, but it's also the like the least Nintendo goddamn. Thing yeah, exactly. Ever seen. It's a good move, yeah. which is why I'm surprised that Nintendo did it. <laughs> <Right. No. laughs> But yeah. uh, no, I think it's cool that they're doing that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, like, because I don't know if I'll get it, but like, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It looked. Wow. It, it did look really promising. So, I'm. I probably will. It was a great last oh, yeah. game for a great direct. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Overall. Yeah. So overall thoughts on the direct. I think this was a, was honestly like one of the more solid ones. Mm-hmm. It so was, was a good overall system. good, surprising, but also confusing direct. <laughs> yes, it was. It, I felt a very wide range of emotions during this direct, which I think is honestly like the best outcome. So okay, yeah. but honestly, there was no downs, so that's not bad. Uh, I disagree. other than other than other than just some of the I, other than like the poop games. Well, yeah, like, I guess you can't, really, right there. you can't really count those <laughs> as downs. It's like easy, like easy targeting, but yeah, yeah. no. Mostly pretty, yeah. Everything they announced that was like big Nintendo games was like actually stuff to be excited about. Oh yeah, big news. That was all the thing. Yeah, exactly. So overall, I think I'm on a scale of one to ten. I'd give it a eight out of ten. Maybe I'd give it maybe, a, maybe nine. I give it like a, yeah, I give it an eight. Yeah, Donna, what do you think? Yeah, I'd say it was pretty on par with the E3 direct. 
it was like on the same level for me. And I, I think when we talked about it, I gave that one like a A minus. So I'll give this one an A minus as well. I think the the Mario the Mario movie voice cast pushed it over for me. But yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Okay. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so with that, we're gonna wrap this episode up. Thank you guys so much for meeting with me for this very sudden episode. Talk about the direct. sudden. Yes. This goddamn. This we need to plan this shit better. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll return to more, uh, you know, planned out, laid back chit chats. Uh, in the coming weeks. Maybe when both of you aren't just out at, like, freaking moving. Yeah, too. exactly. Uh, yeah. But with that, thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for joining us. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of Chit Chats. Bye-bye. I have no idea what it is because we're goddamn out of order. But... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, sneak peek. We filmed a bunch in advance because Antonio and Donovan were moving and they went on a trip. So we're filming this one out of nowhere. Yeah, so who knows <laughs> no, what the this next one's, one's going to be. Really. This one's so out of place. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to see what the next one is. I don't even remember what else we've recorded, so I, I yeah, myself exactly. will be surprised. Okay, shut up. The episode's over. over. Shut up. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>